Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Crystal. I'm Brian. We're Von Hala Adventures and today we're going to be installing some extra security on our Ram Promaster. We're going to be using the HEO uh, solutions locks <laughs> that we got from Expedition Upfitters. So we're going to be showing the install today. Yeah, and these locks are specifically for the Promaster. They also do transit and sprinter. So there's four different locks that we've purchased. There's one for the passenger side, one for the driver's side, one for the sliding door, and one for the rear door. So yep. which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the rear door. Yeah, we'll see this thing. All right, let's do it. That feels a lot more legit than I thought it was going to feel like. Yeah, these got some nice weight to them. They feel pretty, pretty solid. There's uh, some instructions on the box here on the bottom. All right, we're going to go grab the tools. I'll show you what you guys need. Power drill for your drill. Package comes with a drill bit, so you can use that for your pilot holes. You need an Allen key to screw in your screws. And a pencil and utility blade, and that should be it. First thing you want to do is unlock your lock so you can spin it 90 degrees so you have access to the screw holes. I'm going to put mine seven inches above the, the line here on the door. They didn't really say in those instructions exactly where to put it for this particular door, so that's just what we think is a good idea. This is the locked position, so you can see it overhangs. That's what keeps it from door opening. And then when you have it unlocked, you can spin it this way. That way it still protects the, uh, the screw so nobody can unscrew your locks. And you wanna make it so you're able to uh, open the door when this is not, when it's in the unlocked position. Boom, boom, and boom. There you have it. Let's drill some holes. So the lock set comes with a drill bit that you need to set your pilot holes with. It's a 3.2 millimeter drill bit. Let me just double check my work, make sure these holes are where they're supposed to be. You only get one shot at this. Looks really good. All right, here we go. Whew. Oh shit. What? Never feels good to drill holes in the side of your van. Where's the grease stuff? Oh, I'll grab it. I think this is what he wants. Here you go. Thank you. Is that Allen keys? Yeah. Well, Brian is finding a couple more tools back there. I'll explain briefly how these locks work. So these locks work in that even if somebody, let's say, broke the window and was trying to unlock the door, they couldn't. They can't. You cannot unlock from the inside or the outside without having the key and then also the back door they wouldn't be able to get in at all and while it's not a hundred percent a foolproof system because somebody could come in via a window it's going to be a lot harder to get out they wouldn't be able to really take anything that like that large i mean there's nothing really in there we also have extra locking systems in the van for more of our valuables which we're not going to show because we just don't want to show that on tv uh, or on youtube whatever uh but it just is like that edit, added extra layer of security so that if somebody did try to get in, let's say during the middle of the night, we're gonna have extra time to respond uh, because they'd have to climb through the window. So it'd give us extra time to grab anything else that we have within the van to defend ourselves. So just like that little extra bit of security for, you know, I think this whole thing was just about 300, $300, $400. About 400? $400, something like that. Not bad. We are ready to mount the first lock. Comes with the rubber padding here, make sure that gets on. I'm just gonna loosely put all four of them with this power drill, but I'm not, I'm gonna crank it down with an Allen key and not with a power drill. Well, that went on pretty easy. Let's, uh, let's put it in the lock position. Look at that. Ooh, that is sexy. That door cannot open. Nice. Lock number one, got two more, to, three more to go. Let's do the uh, side door. This is the door I'm slightly nervous about just uh, because. Wait a minute. What? How do you do that with the glass right there? You can't. It's gotta be down here. It has to be down here. We gotta figure this out. Okay, looking at the, the sliding glass door, it looks like we have a slight issue and that's because we have the window here and it has more clearance up on the upper portion um, because you don't want to lock it to the window, otherwise it'll crack and break the window. 
but the lower part we tried testing it and it starts hitting the wood on the insides that the door does not enough clearance not that's enough why clearance. they tell you to do four inches above the sliding rail but it doesn't work if you have a window so oh. we were thinking about putting it way like up here Pretty but low. then i can't reach it <laughs> yeah how would i unlock it how does that work so I think we're gonna hold off on the sliding door for now and just continue with the passenger door and think on this and maybe come back to it. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. So let's keep going. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, driver and passenger door locks. They go inside the doors, not outside like the other ones do. Oh, I see. You gotta push them in and then turn them. So they're slightly different, eh? These are completely different design than the exterior locks. Yeah. So when you're installing these passenger and driver doors, you just want to make sure you have clearance when it's in the unlocked position so you can actually open and close your door. If you go too, if you go too close, you're not going to be able to close your door. So I have this other tool. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a spring-loaded metal pointy thing. And it's great for uh, marking your spots on metal. So when your drill bit goes in, it's got a little groove to go in it. And it's like, I don't know. What, I have no idea what it is, but I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. But uh, it, Mark your hole and you can push it down and you can hear it snap. And it kind of eh, puts a little dent into the metal so they, uh, your drill bit doesn't start drifting. I can't get a pencil or a marker down there so I'm just using this thing. And I kind of mark it and I go back and I push it in and make my mark. Right, drilling holes in the car again. In the van, whatever you want to call it. Okay, ready? In our house. And uh, I should mention as the instructions say, you just squirt a little, little lubricant or grease on your screw before you put it in. I'm guessing that because it allows it to go in a little smoother and it protects it from rust, I'm guessing. Before I do the other two screws, I just want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's in the right spot. It's kind of too late for that, but <laughs> I'm just going to check anyways. It's in a good spot. So that's just like a couple inches above this bad boy, above this armrest. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, I, was pretty, I was pretty spot on with that two inches. It's about two inches above the, the, the arm resting. Just shy, maybe an inch and three quarters. Okay. Again, we'll crank it down with the Allen key. Okay, so I traced out the area where this lock is going. And there will be some cutting we gotta do with a utility knife. We gotta cut out some of this so the, the uh, deadbolt can uh, go somewhere when you engage the lock. So I marked out here where I'm supposed to cut the for the deadbolt to get inside here. So I'm just going to cut this out with my utility knife. All right, there's a little spot there for the deadbolt. Next, we need to install the trim piece for the deadbolt. The little trim piece that, that Brian has, it came with the lock set and basically it's just so it looks nice and is the frame so that when you cut out the plastic, you don't just see this cut plastic because cut plastic is one sharp and two, it just doesn't look very nice. So it's kind of for looks and for functionality too. Uh, we had the trim in there and it, for whatever reason, the door wouldn't close with the trim in it. So we're just gonna not use it. So. Uh, and I gotta cut out some of this rubber seal here because it's blocking the passage for the deadbolt. After we cut the hole out of the plastic, the rubber is still needs to be trimmed. I'm just gonna mark it with a little Sharpie here. Huh. Probably just do that. Yeah, that looks <laughs> chill. Moment of truth. Nice. Yeah. I'll try doing this while holding the camera, see how this goes. You gotta push the push it in and turn it. So this is what it looks like when it's all locked. There's a black thing in here, so I'm gonna try opening up the door. Pushing. Yeah, nice. It's not budging at all. Sweet. Alright, well that was pretty straightforward. And uh, we're gonna do the driver's side now. Well Brian is finishing up. The driver's side door, I wanted to mention that you can find a link for these locks down in our description below, along with a discount for 5% off of the locks. We are affiliates of this company and we feel pretty psyched about sharing this with you. I hope that they work well for you as well. Let us know how it goes if you put them on your van 
uh, yeah, just keep us keep us in the loop. How's it going? It's Over going. There. Yeah, it's actually very fairly easy install. Cool. I'm more here for emotional support. Even though like I I don't like drilling holes in anything, I feel confident that I could have installed these. Like yeah. I feel pretty good about this. This is a it's a really easy install. So we're in the middle of the Arizona desert, uh, kind of outside Phoenix, and there's all these hot air. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of hot air balloons, V. And like a tre uh, plane doing treks here. You gotta, you guys gotta see this. There's a couple. There's a bunch over there too. Yeah. And then there is a plane doing some sort of stuff over there. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's a cool shot. That's pretty. We are all finished with the locks for now. Gotta <laughs> figure out that other one. Uh, but yeah, got the little slot, just a little hole I cut through there. So now for the double to slide through. We've been wanting these for so long. I know. It looks great. Yeah. So we still have the outside sliding door to figure out but yeah. it's getting late here i want to eat so we'll see you all tomorrow as we yeah. figure that out we're gonna think on what we're gonna do here maybe do a little bit of research because i feel like a lot of people are gonna have windows on their van yeah i don't understand how that got past us yeah but uh yeah we'll we're gonna figure it out we'll do a little research and we'll figure it out we'll get back to you we'll get back to you we'll see you tomorrow all right all right, we are back. We are no longer tired. This is the last lock we are installing. Uh, you're supposed to put this lock four inches above the sliding rail, but uh, we can't do that because we have a glass here. So we called Expedition Upfitter and they said, basically just put it anywhere it can fit. So they said either put it way up here, but we can't do that because Crystal can't reach it. I'm too short. She's too short. And we can't put it here because we have uh, interior wood in the door. So it's kind of thick, so it hits the lock, so we can't do that. So the last place we can do it is on the very bottom of the door. We tested it and it looks like it's totally fine. Ready to rock. Pulling holes in cars is not fun, unless it's somebody else's car. Oh, that is real money. All right, I got my first two holes drilled. I was about to do the third, and I was like, eh, I'm gonna wait and see if that actually, if that I did that right. It was a little off, so I'm glad I didn't drill that third hole. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount it with just the two holes, with just these, and then I'm gonna drill the other two holes after I screw in the other one, just so I know that they're there in the right spot. So I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but it seems like a good idea. There's this rubber mat that goes on the back of the metal plate. Kind of keeps moving around. So I'm just going to put a little tape on the sides so like the rubber mat becomes a part of the metal plate so it doesn't shift around when I'm moving it. And I can cut it off later. Uh-huh. Yeah, that hole definitely was not punched in the right spot. So now I'm gonna do it correctly. One here. Now I'm going to hand tighten these. I don't want to overdo it in case, you know, you only get one shot at this. So you may think that, uh, oh, someone can just unscrew these and whatever. But when you have it in the unlocked position, it actually spins this way, locks, and you can't get access to the screw, so you cannot unscrew it. So while we've been waiting to put this final lock on, we have been using the back door lock and the passenger and the set driver side lock and they're working amazing. We really like them because you cannot open up the doors at all. There's a couple times I forgot we had it on and it, the door does not budge. So I like it as a, a, like as a woman, I feel very safe. So for me, if B is gone, like it's just that added l layer of protection. So we're pretty stoked on them. And like we said earlier, the install is like pretty chill and I feel like I could have done this by myself. We'll leave a link down below on where to get these from Expedition Upfitter and with our link you can also get 5% off of your 
HEO Solutions lock set for your van. They have Sprinter lock sets and Promaster lock sets, so you can check out that link below in the description. Yeah! Yeah. Ooh, look at that sexy lock. Pretty easy install. Yeah. Look there, once you try to open that door, but you can't. <laughs> I, I hope not. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you can see it kind of just like barely comes out, but yep. you cannot do anything. So if somebody wanted to get in, they'd have to break the window. I mean, obviously they could break the window, but, but them, that door is not getting open. The door is not getting open. So they'd have to crawl through, then try to crawl out. And that would be pretty hard because there's three separate windows here anyway. So they'd really have to put some effort in because even if they reached in, still couldn't get out. So right on. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, me too. That was a pretty easy install. Thanks for Expedition Upfitters for supplying us the locks. Yeah. We feel more secure now. Yeah, I feel really good about this. Yeah. If you guys have any questions about the install, about how we did it, just leave your questions in the comments below and we'll get, do our best to get back to you. Anyways, we'll catch you all next week. If you like this video, uh, we would love it if you could give this video a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell button so you don't miss any notifications when we release a new video. We'll catch you all next week. See ya. Hey everyone. We're Brian and Crystal. Hello men, women, and children. One to screw in your screws. Actually, no. Oh, this isn't long enough to... Uh... <laughs>